Art and Best Memorial Youth Scholarship winner. There were actually two that were awarded this year out of the entire county. And when I was asked to host again this year with Krista uh, and we got the list of people that were being awarded, I could not believe that out of the entire county, the person that was awarded was my neighbor. And she has grown up with my daughter and they're graduating together this year. Um, you moved in before she started school in South Harrison. So they have grown up together. And it could not be going to a better person, but I'm gonna start with her mom. So Savannah says she's amazing. Well, I'm partial, but I think she's pretty amazing. I think she's a good uh, time management girl. I think she's very uh, compassionate. I think she's got a big heart, and hopefully she'll continue to do all this in college and make college a better place. So, Savannah said, Savannah's my daughter, by the way, that's graduating with her. Uh, when I kept asking about McKenna, everybody loves her mom. She does everything for everybody. And having known her since she was five, I think that's a pretty cool thing you guys did. We're gonna both be crying now. <laughs> no, she's good. She's, I mean, you know, she's That's our kid, baby's so. graduating. Uh, I know. Just give me this mic over here. All right, McKenna, obviously you're fantastic in every way, shape, and form. Let's get some dirt on you. What, what bad stuff have you done to mom? What, what's one that you remember? Something you got in trouble for? Not recently. Don't, don't give yourself. <laughs> when you were little. Um, one time when I was younger, I got into baby powder and like lotion and I rubbed it all baby in oil. baby oil and I rubbed it all into the carpet and now ever since I was younger, there's now like ripples in the carpet. Upstairs. Right? Upstairs. <laughs> all over the, all over the hallway, all over oh. her bedroom, Ooh. everywhere. That, that was bad. That was bad. I'm sorry I asked. I'm just, <laughs> like, no, but I honestly, I read McKenna's bio and I have never been so impressed by, I, I wanted to hire you. If I had a company, I would. Um, you just, you're so dynamic. Uh, give me a highlight on one of the things you're most proud of that you're doing right now. Probably the most, or the biggest thing that I'm proud of is the battle of the bands that I started at my high school. Um, for me, that was one of the first things that I was not working on, but that I started. And that really helped me give money back to the Ronald McDonald House of Southern New Jersey. And I stayed there with my family when I was younger. Well, I stayed at the one in Philly, so close one still. Um, it was nice to give back to an organization that did, that did a lot for my family. I saw the figures, so how much came in over the last two years just from what you've done through Kingsway? Uh, so what we have is 25% of the portioned that we raise stay with our school's service club, and then 75% is donated to the Ronald McDonald House of Southern New Jersey. So I think in total over the past two years, we've made $9,000 in total, but the figures over the years have gotten bigger. So I, I hope that even after I graduate, they'll continue to get larger. Well, I can say that what made me proud of McKenna was that her Interact Club, which is the service club, they have adopted the Battle of the Bands as their signature fundraiser. So that means every year the Ron McDonald House will get a check from Kingsway. There are so, so many other organizations that you give your time to. I know that you worked for Swedesboro with the, uh, with the community last year, I believe it was, as a volunteer. Yeah, Girl Scout with numerous awards. You're the only one we bought Girl Scout cookies from because we knew every year you'd be coming and you did it on your own. And that's what I think has made you so successful on, on your own. Um, from when you were little, I'm sure mom and dad were somewhere in the car sitting by watching, but it was always you knocking at the door and asking. So where are you going to college and for what? Uh, this coming fall, I will be attending Seton Hall University. I am a biology pre-med student. It's fabulous. Thank you. What do you do for fun, McKenna? I think when it comes to that, yeah, I have a busy schedule, but I just like to hang out with my friends. I have like a good group of 10 girlfriends. I have my boyfriend. I just like to hang out with them like any other kid. And I have to say before we go, the best thing that I saw when I was, Savannah says, stalking your Facebook to look for <laughs> stuff. Your mom and you leave the nicest, messages between each other they're always inspirational messages it's like when you fall in love and have a great but it's unbelievable so you do that you, the, yeah, see? 
No, but the funny thing is, mom knows that colleges and jobs will be looking at your Facebook page, and when they go on there and say, wow. So what do you think is the best message that mom left you on Facebook? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily like the messages, because some of them are just like links to go look at this. I really like the ones, she always knows that like if I'm ever upset about something or if I'm ever stressed out about something, she knows what I really love is little kids. So she'll, if you saw, yeah, she'll tag me in videos of like, look at this kid, and it'll just be of a kid singing. And then suddenly, I'm just a lot happier. I'm like, oh, she knows that I like that. It's something that she gets. It has been such a pleasure to be able to stand here and interview for this Thank award. You. Thank you so much.